Hey everybody, here to do uh, another video here and y'all see what it is. This is episode 9 of X-Men Blue vs. Gold. Whereas in the previous episode, I looked at issues issue 8 of both respective titles. And when we came to issue 8, Blue finally got a win. After being crushed by gold constantly, Blue finally picked up their first win. So now we're on to issue 9 of Gold and Blue. Now, once again, both issues have their strong points, but there are no ties in this series. I have to pick which one was better. They both had strong points, but yet they both had their problems. With that being said, though, let it be known that Blue wins again. <laughs> yes, Blue has its second consecutive win, but um, Gold, uh, over here, yeah, over here, Gold had a good had some good points, had some strong points to it, uh, but pretty much what Gold was, was just trying to emphasize and either rebuild or build new relationships. That was pretty much the gist of it, and it had that, and it, it had that scene with Kitty Pride running with the American flag in her hand, and it just felt really forced Forced patriotism sometimes can make me cringe. It's like, yeah, we get it, America. Fuck yeah. You know, stuff like that. We get it. But then Blue... Blue had some strong points. But in terms of storytelling and character direction, I thought it was a little bit better. And, like I said when I reviewed it, it's showcasing some of these characters... The right way. It's showcasing Emma Frost the way she should be showcased as a villainous bitch. And the fact that they've brought in Polaris, the fact that Magneto has pretty much told Captain America to go screw himself, deals up by the end of the issue. And considering who Magneto's bringing into the fourth, bringing into all the fun, I thought Blue had a stronger showing had stronger storytelling and stronger character development. Whereas Gold, it did have strong character development, but it was pretty much all about Russia secretly resurrecting Omega Red while Kitty and Peter, you know, play, play I love you, I may not love you, I may love you, all that stuff. It, it just felt, felt kind of weird. Uh... But gold was not a bad issue. It's just, in my opinion, blue was just a little bit better. So there you have it. It is now uh, two and seven. <laughs> blue is now two and seven <laughs> on its way to a comeback. <laughs> uh, but now, all joking aside, both issues were good, but just blue was better for me. So uh, what did y'all think? What do you think? What did you think of these issues? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Was blue your favorite? If so, why? Was gold your favorite? If so, why? You might put up a better argument than I just did. <laughs> well, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, stay tuned for more. Let's see how long we can keep this series going. Let's see how long X-Men Blue and X-Men Gold can stick around. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't done it already. I'll see y'all later. Take care.